Hi, my name's Nana. I'm an engineering student at University of Cambridge. Prior to University of Cambridge, I was a student at Cheltenham Ladies College as well as Westminster School in London. Today, I'll be sharing my experiences with you as well as any top tips for success in school. After five years at CLC, I've decided to move to Westminster mainly because of the location. I wasn't really sure about this at the start because I really loved my experiences at CLC, but looking back now, it's the right decision. So I get to experience so many unparalleled experiences, including I get to sing twice a week as part of the choir in Westminster Abbey, as well as meeting the Queen. And obviously I also learnt a lot from the school as well. The environment is totally different from CLC. And academically, Westminster's teaching style is very similar to Oxbridge, so I would recommend if you're looking to gain experiences in university life. All in all, I would highly recommend those schools because I enjoyed it so much and also I've learned so much academically and also non-academically as well. So the tips that I would recommend for pupils applying to Westminster School or any other top secondary schools or university would be to gain deep understanding of the subject and show that you're passionate about it. So, for example, the school will not be testing on how much you can remember from the textbook. They're testing you on how much you can use knowledge, the knowledge that you already have in order to build on it and answer the questions that they will ask you. So the reason, so there are many reasons why I wanted to be an engineer. So what part of it was because I loved problem solving. So since I was young, I've always loved problem solving and physics was my favorite subject at school. And I've decided to choose engineering because of the application of it. There's so many much more application of physics in engineering that you can use to solve real world problems. For example, at Cambridge, I've also done a Chrome extension in order to help people shop better and more environmentally as part of the hackathon. And also, engineering is very adaptable and practical, which opens up to many fields of work in the future, especially at Cambridge Engineering course, where you don't have to specialise the type of engineering you want to do until third year. If I could go back to my 10 years old self, I would tell myself to speak up a little more and answer, be more confident in class because looking back now, the class environment is very friendly and I don't know what I was scared about. Another thing is that I would tell myself to go to more school trips because when I was, when I was at school, I've only signed up to one um, and the trip was cancelled in the end. And the school trips are very different from family trips in that you get to go with friends and also you get to learn at the same time. I think that I would get to gain a lot more experience um, if I had gone on one. I've done loads of really cool engineering projects in the past. For example, when I was at school, my team and I built a robot as part of the VEX Robotics competition. I've also made a radio before and also made a Chrome extension that allows shoppers to shop more environmentally friendly. But the coolest thing that I've done as an engineer is going up to a 50 storey wind turbine in an engineering outfit and we get to see the view of the whole town. That was breathtaking. <laughs> Students should think about the courses that they want to do at university when they're choosing their A-levels or IB subjects. This is because for some courses, you're required to do A-levels, specific A-levels, or such as for engineering, you're required to do maths, further maths and physics. And the best time for me to think about the actual universities to apply to would be GCSE holiday, um, so end of year 11. This is because the holiday times are longest and 
you would be able to do loads of research about which universities you want to go to. Different universities have different unique points. For example, um, at Cambridge and Oxford, there are the tutorial system, and it might be different for other universities in the UK. In addition, the location and the town that the universities in could also influence your decision. For example, some pupils would prefer to live in London because they want to live in a city. Other students might prefer to live outside of London because they've lived in London their whole life and they want to experience something new. So this varies by people and the best thing to do is to research it online and book an open day to go see the university or a virtual open day. Students might also think about applying to US universities. In that case, the process is completely different and they also have to research what kind of admission tests that students want to do and what they would gain out of going to US universities as well. I find that reaching out to the university admission department at school could also be very helpful as they've gone through the same process with other students um, for multiple years and they want the best for you. Another resource that you could go to could be um, someone in the year above you who has recently gone through the same process. This is because universities changes every year and these people would have the most up-to-date information about the universities and they would be able to give you their personal experience that they've gone through recently. My final words of advice for students that want to succeed in school academically would be to not road learn the content but to understand the content perhaps with the help of tutors and once you've understand the content you should practice as much as you can. Thank you.